What's up, you guys? It's Jono. Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There comes a time in every trainer's life when they realize they need another booster energy item. This is the held item that activates your Quark Drive or Protosynthesis on your Paradox Pokemon. If you made it through the entire game, you would have found one of these guaranteed on the ground. But if you want to add more than one Paradox Pokemon to your team, then you're going to want to get another booster energy. And this video is all about how to get an unlimited supply of those booster energy items. So let's dive right on into it. The first thing that you need to know about this item is that any Paradox Pokemon has a 5% chance to be holding this item in the wild. So any Paradox Pokemon you find in the wild has a 1 in 20 chance to get this item as its held item. And then once you catch that Pokemon, it will still be holding the item. So that's really important information. And basically, you don't even have to watch the rest of this video. That's all the information you need. However, I'm going to show you how I was able to get the item as fast as possible. And I was able to get eight of this item during the half hour period that my sandwich lasted. So the first thing I recommend is to eat an electric powered sandwich. You can see that I got encounter power three for electric. You can use the same recipe that I used here. It's a very good recipe for electric sandwiches. And you're gonna wanna do that outside of area zero because you cannot picnic inside of area zero. Here's a fun fact about area zero. If you dive into the clouds off the edge of the mountain, you will go down into area zero as you see here. It's just a little Easter egg. I didn't know you could do that. So shout out to Mega Dynamite who told me about that. It's actually a really fun way to get down into area zero. Once you eat the electric sandwich, then you go down into area zero. You're gonna dive right off the cliff and head here to the rock wall. This area is called the rock wall because it spawns a ton of rock Pokemon. So by eating the electric sandwich, you force only iron thorns to spawn in this area because you're spawning electric types and iron thorns is a rock and electric type. So it prevents all of the rock spawns from spawning and forces only the iron thorns to spawn. I learned this while I was shiny hunting iron thorns the other night and I thought this is a really good method to get only paradox pokemon to spawn and i want to see as many paradox pokemon as possible because they only have that five percent chance to be holding the item so what you're going to do once you get down here is start running into every single paradox pokemon and if they don't do the booster energy animation at the beginning then you know they don't have a booster energy and you just run away from them and check another one once they have the booster energy you're going to catch that pokemon and then you're going to go to your boxes after you catch it and take the item off of them. Take away their held item and put it in your inventory. So that's what we did throughout the course of this video so far. I showed you how to get the electric spawns to spawn. I showed you where you can go to get all Paradox Pokemon. You'll get a massive amount of Paradox Pokemon and you just keep on checking them one by one. And once you get the animation at the very beginning of the battle that says they have the booster energy, then you catch that one and it will have the held item of the booster energy. Just like you can see here, I caught this Iron Hands and it's holding the booster energy. So go ahead and send it to your boxes and then go to your boxes and find that Pokemon you just caught and take the held item off of them, which will put it in your inventory. And then you just got yourself another booster energy. Pretty easy, right? So I did this over and over again throughout the half hour that my sandwich was activated and I was able to get eight booster energies from doing this process. You could hypothetically get an unlimited supply of these booster energies. So if you want to give some to your friends or just have a whole bunch of Paradox Pokemon on your team or just have a Paradox Pokemon for every situation and give every single one a booster energy, you could get all the booster energies that you need in a couple of hours to do every single Paradox Pokemon in the game. In this case, I'm going to give the booster energy to my Iron Thorns. I really wanted to power up my Iron Thorns and make it into the best Iron Thorns it could be. I'll probably do a video about that process later, but I knew I needed to have a booster energy, so I had to go and track one down, and this is the process that I found to get one. So here you can see I now have two booster energies. I have proven that you can get multiple booster energies. I've documented the method that I used to get the booster energy, and I spent the next half hour after this just getting more and more booster energies. I never want to have to do this again, so I tried to get as many as possible, so I'll have a very big supply of booster energies, and then I'll be able to just power up any pair
Paradox Pokemon that I want, and I won't have to go through this process again. I do recommend to do that yourself. You never know, you might have another Paradox Pokemon that you want to put on your team, and you don't want to have to keep on swapping the same booster energy from Pokemon to Pokemon because you've only got one. They do give you the one guaranteed booster energy when you're playing through the story, but if you want more, then you gotta do this process. All right, you guys, so I ended up with about half an hour worth of footage. My shiny sandwich lasted for half an hour. That means I get the electric encounters for half an hour. And then once the encounters were over, I checked all the remainder of the Paradox Pokemon around me just to see if a few of them might still be holding some energy boosters. And I was able to get eight energy boosters from my half hour sandwich. So that's actually really good. These things are not very hard to find. One in 20 is very good odds. Just remember to take the item off of the Paradox Pokemon before you transfer it otherwise you're transferring the item along with it. And that's basically all you need to know. Now you have a plan for how to get as many booster energies as you might need. No matter how many Paradox Pokemon you wanna put on your team, you should be able to get a booster energy for every single one of them using this method. I wanna say thank you to everybody who watched this video and please drop a comment and a like on the video. It really does help out the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you to all of my amazing subscribers and peace.